some of the uh, case uh, of different organ um, observation framework uh, which was carried out by faculty members during the FDP at GTU, the, the members were given a theme that yes, we want to check the safety of the pedestrian on the roads and uh, we looked into the application of AEIO framework using uh, uh, use of this framework and then we went up uh, on the field. So first of all, initially we, it is very much required that distribution of uh, work responsibility in a group, if there are four members, five members, each one should be uh, given certain uh, specific responsibility to perform on the field. And then uh, within the group member, there should be some initial brainstorming uh, uh, which can help in identification of the general impressions that uh, under the circumstances for which they are going for observation, what could be the uh, scenario and what, what could be the probable elements that will be observed. So while watching or taking the observation for activities uh, for a given circumstance, we need to identify that uh, it is being done by somebody. Generally that uh, person is considered to be the user. Now what we are going to observe here that how these activities are performed. In, in a way, we need to describe it or we need to capture a series of photographs uh, step by step describing how these things are happening or what the activity actually is happening. We need to verify what actually is going on with a, a little bit of uh, details and then we need to think of why this particular activity is going on in the way it is going on and then how it is going on. So uh, different elements we need to identify in here and what is involved. Right. So by performance of the activity is going on, we need to identify all these elements by means of uh, uh, this uh, chart. We can see that general impressions uh, that we needed to identify earlier uh, at the round of brainstorming. We already uh, mentioned or listed out some of the activities uh, under the general impressions and then we uh, went out with the observation uh, sheets along with us and then brought in some of the added notes in here. Then identified a number of elements uh, with some special notes in here and then we had tested some of the photographs or sketches also can be a part of here which uh, describe the summary of activity. Okay, So we can see that the people are crossing the roads here uh, which are not uh, very well uh, safe. Uh, same here in this photograph, you can see that the zebra crossing is encroached upon by the vehicles, uh, generally two wheelers or three wheelers, maybe in some of the cases cars. So this this sort of encroachment leaves the pedestrian on the road, which ultimately deals uh, with the safety of the pedestrian, uh, creating a very unsafe uh, surrounding. And uh, many of the instances, uh, some of the footpath which were designed and placed for the pedestrians use are encroached upon by other activities as well. In the environment part, we need to check out what are the surroundings where a specific activity is happening. What are the circumstances, time effects, whether there are any variations related to time, maybe daytime, noon time, evening time, sort of that. And whether there will be any seasonal effects uh, or maybe because of somebody's presence, uh, some some effects are changed so that will be the person's effect if any and then uh, while performing certain activity whether there will be any operational effects or not right so we need to check out why these variants uh, the variations or the versions are happening and actually what are the important elements that governs the particular situation the, the governs the particular environment that actually allowing the activity that forces the activity to happen in the particular manner. So this is another way that the environment part was checked out and certain uh, notes were taken up for the same. And uh, you can see here that this footpath is encroached by a, a person who is selling some books or something like that, which will definitely force these guys when they'll come forward, they uh, the footpath 
pedestrians will have to cross over from uh, this area and at that time if some vehicle is coming behind uh, they will be endangered right many of the booths uh, public utility facilities or maybe some of the installations from the uh, service infrastructure are encroaching upon the pedestrians walking area then we need to check out the interactions uh, wherein we will see that who are actually involved all the users uh, what are uh, they, they, these user are holding or operating or using we need to check out with the human extensions uh, how the contents are the contacts are in actions and we need to check out the reaction as well if somebody is holding something if somebody is, the user is using some some of the uh, object in a specific manner we need to focus uh, over that part and think over whether the, the type of usage of a particular object is appropriate or something that is uh, unusual happening around so here in this case uh, uh, some of the interactions made uh, uh, on the identification of the interactions are uh, noted down then we need to identify or list out the uh, different objects involved in the particular activity basically these objects are considered as a building blocks for the environment and uh, acts as a key element that sometimes put to complex or unintended uses uh, however uh, it may change the function the meaning or the context of the usage uh, very much similar to you must have seen uh, at times that the some of the rods or something like uh, element to you know start a switch or uh, uh, maybe power on or power off uh, the the points which are located at heights on the wall so that is basically an unintended use uh, we can consider as an example and uh, we need to identify what are the objects and devices that people have in their environments and how do they relate to their activities so here are the lists uh, and we need to uh, create a list of the things that are involved in form of inventory as a part of key objects uh, which are basically affecting the environment or happening activities and by the end of the framework we need to identify the type of uh, or variety of users uh, who are involved because their behavior preferences and uh, uh, actions will definitely affect the particular activities and we need to observe all of uh, these things uh, we need to check uh, who actually is there as a user and what are the roles and relationships uh, between these users uh, what are their values and prejudices by means of actions at present we are not going to uh, direct round of uh, interview with uh, any of them but then we can check out the uh, values and prejudices for uh, uh, by by their uh, performance on certain activities or maybe by form of reaction that we can see <clears throat> sorry so this is a uh, uh, another form of uh, users uh, that was worked out uh, here uh, we have general impressions of people and then we made out the type of uh, uh, different users that are using the footpath uh, that is basically the list of identified people involved and then we need to also check out uh, which way they are behaving to some of the actions so after doing this uh, what we need to do is to uh, have a round of review and then we need to cluster all these observations uh, uh, and then disseminate some higher level themes and patterns that basically is to uh, identify the from general observation to getting down to some specific uh, set of requirements that will define some, another round of uh, observation and then uh, we need to identify the impacting and important findings, uh, uh, which may be called as the clues, and uh, such clues uh, uh, forming sets among the AIO framework. We need to have a review over it and then 
we also need to check out whether these clues will allow us the engineers <clears throat> uh, to resolve uh, such of the happenings by using the engineering means that is the most important part here uh, and we need to construct a summary of AEI framework on an A1 size of paper showing the clues uh, that way. So that was all about the AEI framework. Thank you.